Yes, guys, I am here. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? How was your long weekend? Um, I'm fine. Okay. Very good. <laughs> you are very good. Nice. Yeah, and you, teacher? It was very busy, but it was great. I could see a lot of friends. <laughs> Qué cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Hello. Good you evening. Your friends. Good evening. Hey, guys. It's time to start. This Hello. Is our Good evening, everybody. Good evening, friends. Good evening. Okay, let me share with you the class presentation. Today we're going to study a very interesting topic, which is about the time. What time is it? What time is it? Okay, and as you can see here, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about different cities. International time zones, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Like right now in El Salvador is 9.03 p.m. But maybe in another country it's the 7 a.m. I think in France. No, no, no. It's like eight hours different. So it's like 5 a.m. right now. <laughs> Okay, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions about time, using time expressions and practice giving the time. So we're going to learn that, to say how to tell the time, how to tell the time. What time is the class? What time? Hour. It's nine o'clock. Thank you, Jose. Yes, it's correct. So we have here the question, what time is it? We have the conversation. You, I will play the conversation so that you can listen to it. Okay, just give me a moment because I am preparing here the listening part. The conversation topic is, it's two o'clock in the morning. Okay, please listen and follow the conversation. Page 30, exercise 2. Conversation. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Amar. This is Brian. I'm calling from New York. Brian? Wait, where are you? I'm home on vacation, remember? I'm calling about the soccer game. Great game. Oh, that's good. But what time is it there? It's 2 p.m. And it's 2 o'clock in Australia, too, right? That's right. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 a.m.? Oh, of course. I'm really sorry. That's okay. Congratulations on the game. Okay, so where is where is Brian and where is Amar? Where is Amar? In what country? Amar is in what city or what country? New York. Brian is in New York, but Australia? Amar is in Australia. Uh-huh, and according to the time zones, 
what is the difference? What is the hour difference between New York and Australia? Twenty-four hours. The clock. It's twelve. Twelve hours. Um. Twelve hours. Two p.m. Two a.m. Ah, uh, yeah. Two, 12 hours. Uh -huh. It's no one day difference. It's 12 hours. So I would, I need, yes? 12 o'clock. Uh huh. No, Good. 12 so says, horas. Sorry, I have that. 12 hours de diferencia. 12 hours difference. Yes, 12 hours difference. Okay, I need two volunteers to say or practice the conversation. Two Me, volunteers, Fernando and, oh. and Julio. <laughs> okay, you start, Fernando. But remember the intonation for the questions, okay, and the expressions. Very good. Start, please. Hello? Hi, I'm Mark. This is Brian. I am calling for New York. Brian? Wait. Where are you? I am on the vacation, remember? I'm calling about the soccer game. Great game. Oh, that's good. But what time is there? It's 2 p.m. and is it 2 o'clock in Australia. To right? That's right. It's two o'clock in the morning. Two a.m. Of course, I'm really sorry. That's okay. Congratulations on the game. <laughs> okay. Thank you for nothing, Julio. Yes. Thank you for your participation. Yeah. So. Mm, Brian got confused, right? He thought it was 2 p.m. in Australia, but it was 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Like imagine a person calling you at 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's like ooh, a pain in the neck. Fastidious. Good. So um, the question is very easy when you ask about the time. What time is it? What time is it? That is the question. What time is it? What time is it right now? The time is 9.09. 9.09, very good. So here we have different clocks and we can see the time. For example, here we have it's one o'clock. Para decir en punto, we use o'clock. It's one o'clock. Over here, it's one o five. Now una y cinco. Or we can say, it's five after one. It's five after one. Okay. Over here, we have, it's one fifteen. Or it's a quarter, un cuarto. Because 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, it's a quarter after one. Then we have it's 1.30, it's 1.40, or it's 20 to two. Son la, es la una y cuarenta, o veinte para las dos. And then we have it's 1.45, or it's a quarter, to two. La una cuarenta y cinco o un cuarto para las dos. It's a quarter to two. So these are different ways to tell the time. Now we have here the time in different parts of the world and we can see the expression. The time expressions. Okay, I'm going to share the audio for this.
Okay, first, what time is it? Page 31. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. What time is it? It's 2 o'clock. It's 2.05. It's 5 after 2. It's 2.15. It's a quarter after 2. It's 2.30. It's 2.40. It's 20 to 3. It's 2.45. It's a quarter to three. Very good. Now, can you tell me what time is it in this exercises? For example, what time is it? It's 10 after 10 or it's 10, 10. Okay, what about the number two? What time is it? Six of one. It's six oh one or it's one after uh, after six. It's one after <laughs> okay. What about after. number very good? Number three, what time is it? It's it. Five. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, you, you, you are doing it way very well. It's five fifty. It's five fifty or it's ten after six. Seria Si decimos, it's, ajá, it's 10, it's 10 to 6, 10 para las 6, it's 10 to 6, or 5.50. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the number 4? It's, it's eight. It's eight. Thirty. Exactly. Eight. Eight. Oh, thirty. Thirty. It's eight thirty or. Fíjense que para decir media hora se usa la expresión half. It's half after eight. Son las ocho y media. Se dicen, o oh, es media, ajá, las ocho y media. It's half after eight. Ok, number five. Number five y... ¿Ahora es este? ¿Qué número es este? Night. Ajá, it's nine oh five. Nine oh five. Or it, decimos los minutos después de las nueve. It's five after after nine. After nine. nine. Okay, and finally the number. Si no les quieren dar los cincuenta se lo pongo aquí. It's, it's 12, 12, 12, oh, 45. It's 12, 45. It's 12, 45. Or it's 35 after 12. No, we cannot say that. But we can say 15. It's, okay, it's 15. 15. Mm -hmm. Or a quarter. After, after 12. 
No. Oh, no. Two, twelve. No. Quince para las doce. Two, um, uh, thirteen. Thirteen, two. One, one. One. Son quince para la una. Entonces, there are two ways to tell the time. One is easy. The second is a little bit more difficult, but you will get it. Now, let's do the exercise, the listening exercise over here. Is it a.m. or p.m.? We're going to learn the expressions. Look, look, you can please pay attention. Look at the expressions before the morning, afternoon, or night. Page 31, exercise three, grammar focus. Is it a.m. or p.m.? It's six o'clock in the morning. It's six a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's six o'clock in the evening. It's six p.m. It's nine o'clock at night. It's nine p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Nice. So we can see the different expressions that we can use for the time. At six o'clock in the morning, it say in the morning, or it say six a.m. a.m. 12 o'clock or X noon. Mediodía, se dice? No. Noon. Okay. En la tarde, we say? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. 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 Practice the pronunciation. Afternoon. 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 It's four in the afternoon. afternoon. Okay. And then from 6 p.m. we say in the in the evening. 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 In the evening. In the evening. evening. For example, the class evening. is in the evening. Well, actually it's at night because it's 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 late. Okay, our class is at night, is at 9 p.m. So from, from 9 and on, we can say at night, okay? But we, when we start the class, when empezamos the class, no decimos good night, teacher. Decimos good, good Good evening, good evening, porque es para saludar, good evening. Pero, when we finish the class, we say... Good night. Good night, exactly. And then, um, at 12 a.m., 12 a.m. is... Midnight. Midnight, exactly, medianoche, midnight. Midnight. Okay, it's midnight. And if you notice for for noon, night, and midnight, we use the article at at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay, don't forget it. Very good. So we'll continue with the class presentation. And now I'm going to try to explain how to tell the time in English. <laughs> well, you know, the easy way, la forma fácil, the easy way is to say just, for example, it's 9.21, it's 3.40, 
x2 15, x3 eh, eh, 31, etc. But you need to learn another way. The other way to tell the time. Y per, la otra manera de decir el tiempo, the, la hora, it's like you can see here. In this side, we say past. En esta parte decimos past, or we can say after. Las dos maneras son correctas. Past or after. And in the other side, we can say, or we can use to or before. Podemos usar to or we can use before. Before significa? What does before mean? Before means? Before antes. Antes. And after means? ¿Qué significa after? After means? Después. Después. The same with past and to. So remember that here we have five minutes, right? Difference. Five past, x five past nine, x ten past nine, x a quarter past nine, x twenty past nine, x twenty five past nine, x half past nine. Or after x five after nine, x ten after nine, x a quarter after nine, x uh, twenty after nine, x twenty five after nine, or x half after nine. But then when we finish here, we start with before or two. x twenty five to ten, or x twenty five before ten. X 20 to 10 or X 20 before 10. X a quarter to 10 or X a quarter before 10. X 10 to 10 or X 10 before 10. X 5 to 10 or X 5 before 10. Okay? So de este lado decimos, front to side, decimos los minutos que ya pasaron de la hora. Y en la siguiente decimos los minutos que hacen falta para la siguiente hora. Uh -huh. For example, what time is it right now? When, right now, what time is it? 9.24. Exactly, 9.24. Esa es la forma fácil. Ahora, digámoslo de la otra manera. Sería x24. Past to 9. Past to 9. X25 or X24, actually X25 now. X25 past nine. Son las nueve y veinticinco. Nine twenty-five. This is we can say X X9 25. De la forma fácil. Pero también podemos decir X20. También es fácil decir esto. X25 past 9. Or X25 after 9. De las dos maneras lo podemos decir. Ok. Now in the other way. Veamos que sea lo contrario. X9, por ejemplo, X950. X950. But how can I say faltan 10 para las 10? X10. X10. X10 before 10. It's 10 before 10. Or it's 10 to 10. Okay. Ajá, la estructura es la Teacher. misma. Solo puede, puede cambiar. Usted puede usar before or to. Yes, Ernesto. Eh, una pregunta. Yo pensaba que se iba a poner el to before. 
No, solo usa uno. Pero... O before or ten. Ok. O también past or after. Cualquiera de las dos. O after. Una de las dos, pero no juntas. Una de las dos, pero no las dos. Tengo que enseñar todas las formas posibles. <ríe> ¿Ok? ¿Ya tomaron captura, notas? Que voy a borrar. ¿Ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. I will also send one here in the group. Okay, now it's time to practice. We are going to match the time with the correct form, the correct sentence. So you're going to help me. It's mm -hmm. a quarter past. Oh. Mm. Uh -huh. It's a quarter past five. It's, it's a quarter past. It's a quarter past five. Very good. The second one. Two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Next. It's. Uh, Half past seven. Very good. It's half past seven. Okay, next. It's twelve. It's twelve, yeah. In the morning or or in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, what about the next one? It's twenty past eight. It's twenty to one. It's 20 to 1. Excellent. Next. Uh -huh. It's 20 past 8. Yes, that's correct, Jorge. Next. It's 25 past two. It's 25 past two. Mm -hmm. We continue. It's 10 to 11. It's... No, excuse me. It's a five to eight. It's five, five to eight. eight, yes. Okay. Next. It's a quarter to, to eight. It's a quarter to eight, very good. Next. It's a quarter past eight. It's a quarter past eight. eight. Past eight. Mm -hmm. Next. It's 20 to 12. Exactly. Okay, one more. It's 10 okay. to 11. It's 10 to 11. Mm -hmm. We only have 20 it's 20 five, 25 past 6. 25 past 5. And the last one? It's 5 past. It's five. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Terminé vista porque casi no se mira. Sorry. Terminé vista porque casi no se mira. Oh, sorry for that. I will try to make it bigger the next time.
Oh, we have more, more exercises. We have to match the clock with this correct expression. It's four o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's six o'clock. It? It's half yeah. past yeah. two. Very good. Next. Somebody said it's six. It's six o'clock. Yes. Then we have. It's half past one. It's half past one and. It's two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock and finally. It's half it's past eleven. Half past eleven. Exactly. It's half past eleven. Nice, very good. Very good. Very good, good job. Good, now guys, I need you to answer these questions in your notebook. What time do you, what time do you wake up? You say, I wake up at 5 a.m. What time do you wake up? What time do you wake up? I wake up at 5 a.m. What time do you have lunch? You can say, I have lunch at half past 12 or 12.30. 12 uh, what time do you drink coffee? I drink coffee in the morning at 8 a.m. In the afternoon at 4 p.m. What time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at 20 to 11 p.m. Or ten forty. Okay, so please let. Me... Sorry, Julia. Sí, y en el caso que si la persona quisiera decir que todo el día toma café, un ejemplo. <laughs> I, I drink coffee all day long. Así se dice. Yo se lo voy a escribir aquí. <laughs> Mi mamá. <laughs> Wow, but too much coffee is not good. Es que yo soy catadora de café. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. Una chera. Okay, so I need you to please uh, work on this. And meanwhile, I'm going to take the attendance. So please be ready. Be ready to say present or here. It's asleep. Dormir. Excuse me? I'm, I'm looking for the list. Just give me a moment. Okay, let's start with Aleida Madeline Gomez. Alvin de Jesus Cuchilla. Present. Thank you, Alvin. Ana Maricela Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Ana. Ana Silvia Joachim. Present, teacher. Thank you. Angie Ibed Romero. Present. Thank you, Angie. Cecilia Verónica Hernández. Present. Okay. Si alguien responde en el chat, me avisan, por fin. Please, let me know. Christopher Alejandro Goches, Paco. Claudia Elizabeth Clima Coseballos. Daniel Arisa Romero Díaz.
David Ernesto Tolosa Calderón. Denise Rosalía Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Very good. Edward Steven Pérez. Present. Emily Azucena Ramos. Emily Azucena. Emanuel Eliseo de León. Fernando Enrique López. Present. Fernan Thank you. Francisco Javier Cortés. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Gabriela María Reyes. Absent. Glenda Karina Baños. Present teacher. Hacer Beatriz Abarca. Present. Very good. Jacqueline Janet Guzmán. Present. Jennifer Yvonne Pérez Ramírez. Present. Jorge Arquímedes. Present. Thank you. Jorge Arquímedes Beltrán. Present. Jorge Martínez Arqueta. Present. José Alberto López. Jocelyn Esmeralda Rosario. Okay. Absent. Julio César Reyes Cruz. Julio Ernesto. Sorry, sorry, present. Okay. Julio Ernesto Echeverría. Carla Elizabeth Navarro de Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Carla Lucía Rosa López. Wow, we have a lot of absences. That's not good. Very good. Did you finish? Teacher, I have a one question. You have a question. What's your question, Julio? ¿Cómo se podría decir cuando dice uh, o oh, cuando usted quiere expresar que no tiene una hora específica para dormir o para el lunch o para levantarse o para cualquier actividad que le pregunten? Ok, you can say I don't have specific time. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I don't, I would write it in the chat. I don't have a specific time. I don't have specific time. Okay, could you finish the questions? Hello. Did you finish the questions, guys? Yes, teacher. Nice. Very good. Okay, before we practice in pairs, I need you to be careful. We never use AM or PM with the expression of clock or with the words morning, morning, afternoon, evening, or night. So tell me. Is, is it correct to say, is it correct to say I wake up at 5 o'clock a.m.? Is it okay or it's incorrect? It's incorrect. It's incorrect. 
Is it correct to say I wake up at five o'clock? It's correct. It's correct. Yes, it's correct. It's correct to say I wake up at five a.m. It's incorrect. It's Why? correct. It's correct. Lo que es incorrecto es mezclar five o'clock a.m. or five. Uh -huh. Five o'clock a.m. estaría eh, normalmente no no la no la mezclamos. Solo decimos five o'clock. O eh, in the morning or x5 8. Okay, but we don't say x5 o'clock a.m. Now, guys, I need you to practice the, the previous questions. Practice the previous <clears throat> questions in groups. We're going to practice in small groups. But I will send you these to the WhatsApp. Okay? I will send you to, I will send it in WhatsApp. So right now you're going to work in groups and you are going to ask and answer the question. Como ya hicieron las preguntas, ahora en los grupos se los van a preguntar. Karina, what time do you wake up? Fernando, what time do you have lunch? Eh, Steven, what time do you do your homework? Pueden escribir otra pregunta. Pueden escribir otra pregunta. You can write another question. What time do you take a shower? What time do you watch TV? What time do you eh, go to bed? Uh -huh. What time do you go to bed? What time do you do your homework? Etc. Entonces aquí les voy a poner en grupitos. Los voy a hacer un poquito grandes porque a veces no, no todos pueden participar. Entremos a las salitas, por favor. Pero sería... Sería... Me levanto a tal hora. Uh -huh. Sería, I wake up at... Y la hora. Permítanme, yo I get up at five, así sería. Sería, I wake up at, eh, ¿a qué hora se levanta? A uh, cinco. A las cinco de la mañana. Yes. Entonces sería, I wake up at eh, five a.m. Ajá. Eh, sería. O at five o'clock. Uh, Uh, otra pregunta, este. La siguiente oh. era, what time do you have lunch? ¿A qué hora es almuerzo? Quiero ver. Sería. I have lunch at. Ahí les mandé, ahí les mandé la, 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 cómo va la pregunta y cómo va la respuesta. Solo la hora le tienen que agregar. Entonces les mandé yes. en WhatsApp. It's in WhatsApp. Okay. Uh -huh. Permítame. 
Ruth. Uh, I wake up at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Las 5. 5 puntos. Sí. Ok. Uh, what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at 12 o'clock. Okay. Uh, what time do, do you drink coffee? Uh, I drink coffee uh, two times. The first time at uh, 7 a.m. and the second time for 5 p.m. Please, please. <laughs> I drink coffee at 7 a.m. and uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Dos veces. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what time do you go to sleep? Uh, I go to sleep at eleven mm, p.m. Oh yeah, muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, ya lo practicamos. No sé, tiene alguna otra pregunta. Dijo que podíamos pensar en alguna otra. Alguna pregunta de, de la que la... tiene Jorge. La que Ajá. yo tengo ah, sobre no what time do you, do you run. ¿Y qué es en español? ¿A qué hora sale a correr? <ríe> ok. Bueno, ahí se le pone eh, I go to um, room tales horas. I uh -huh. go running. Yeah, I go running at 5 a.m. Running. running. Go running. Mm -hmm. I go running. Yo voy, ¿verdad? Yeah. 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 I go I running. Go run. What time do you go running? I go running at 6 o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Te las hago, Cecilia, si quieres otra vez. Bueno. Okay. Bye. What time do you wake up? I wake. I wake up at uh, in the no. I wake up at six. The morning. Okay. What time do you have lunch? I have lunch at 12 noon. What time do you drink coffee? I drink coffee at 10 in the morning and at 3 in the afternoon. 3 in the morning. Why do we have? No, I think 10, 10 in the morning. 10 in the morning. And, así es. And at 3 in the afternoon. Ok. Pero no, no finalice todos los cursos. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Pero, se ve interesante. Lo bueno que le guste, ¿no? Sí. Sus canciones. Very good. Eh, a mí me gusta también bastante la de Adele. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama esa? But I fire to the rain. I'm fine the rain. Set fire, fire to the rain. Set yeah. fire to the rain. It's Very beautiful. good, excellent song. And other fa my other favorite group is Coldplay.
y se cambió de grupo, teacher. No, I just, uh, I, Esperando I a todos. all the groups. I'm waiting for everyone to, <laughs> to come back. Okay, now everybody's back. Good. So now, guys, to finish, because we only have some minutes before we finish. Tell me, what time did you, what time do you wake up? Somebody? Miss, tengo una pregunta. Yes, Karina. Eh, si pongo, puedo poner, por ejemplo, half after 11, y puedo poner PM, o puedo poner at night. PM, mm -hmm. at night. No, PM. Puedo poner las dos cosas. No, las dos cosas no, porque está repitiendo lo mismo. Es redundante. Ni o'clock at night. O clock at solo, night. O sea que solo, solo lo puedo dejar half after 11 at night. Así está bien. O PM. Ah, ok. Y si le pongo PM, no le, puedo, no le pongo at night. Uh -huh. Y el ah, o'clock okay. es solo cuando es la hora en punto, la hora en punto. Uh, bye. Gracias. Ok. So, what time do you wake up? I wake up around five o'clock in the morning. Five, ok, five in the morning. Or five a.m. Or five o'clock. In the morning. Around five. Okay. What time do you have lunch, Cecilia? I have lunch at 12 noon. Very good. Has there Beatriz? Ah, but she drinks coffee all day long. Another person. <laughs> Ana Maricela. What time do you drink coffee? And I coffee is at three o'clock. I drink coffee at three o'clock. Okay. Okay. And let's oh, see, Hazel Beatriz, what time do you go to sleep? Hacer Beatriz, what time do you go to sleep? Uh, I go to sleep as I don't have a specific time for that. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Uh, Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia, what time do you uh, take a shower? Or Edward Steven, what time do you take a shower, Edward? Yes, Edward. What time? It, ahorita. Ay, lo apagó. <laughs> ahorita, Edward. Sí, Steven. Yes, Steven. Maybe he has a problem. Francisco Javier. Eh, no sé si se dice así, pero creo que es I wake up shower eh, seven seven twenty. I I take a shower at seven twenty. Yes, it's correct. AM or PM? AM. AM. Okay, very good. So don't worry, guys. Tomorrow we are going to continue having more practice with telling the time. But before we go, this is going to be the last activity. 
you are going to say each time in a different way. For example, it's eight o'clock in the morning. You can say it's a.m. It's a.m. Okay, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. ¿Cómo lo podríamos decir también? It's 3 p.m. Exactly, it's 3 p.m. Me llena muy de física. Okay. Number three. Number three. It's six o'clock in the evening. We can say. It's six. P.m. P.m. Okay, next. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12. Yeah. It's, it's midnight. 12. Ah, uh, midnight. At, mid, at night, it's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m., right? It's 12 a.m. Okay. Good. And if I say it's 10 a.m. Or we can add uh, with this one, we can also say it's 12 a.m. or it's midnight. It's it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's 10 in the morning. Uh -huh. It's 10 o'clock. Or it's 10 o'clock. In the morning, or it's ten in the morning. It's four p.m. It's four. It's four four o'clock in the afternoon. It's seven p.m. Four. It's. Por qué no fai no se puso el o'clock? Se puede poner también. Solo es otra manera de decirlo. En este caso, porque todas son horas en puntos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Seven in the evening. And the last one. It's 12 p.m. or it's... No. It's noon. Exactly. It's noon. It's noon. Very good. Okay, so how was the class today? ¿Cómo estuvo la clase hoy? Very good. What Very good. good. <laughs> okay, a ver, ¿qué aprendieron de nuevo hoy? La hora. To tell the time. To tell the time. What is the question? ¿Cómo pregunto qué hora es? What time? what time is it? What time what is, is it? Time? What time is it? Or what is the time? Or what's the time? Mm -hmm. What's the time? Or what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Right now. Ten. It's ten o'clock. No. No. Ten. ten. It's ten. It's ten past two. Ten. No. Uh, two. Yes. It's ten two or two. No. Las dos y diez me están diciendo. It's ten past two. Las dos y diez. Alvin. Ten half. Hola, buenas noches. Este solo quería preguntar si había pasado Liz. Ah, sí, sí, había pasado Liz, es cierto, me acordé. Yo preguntando si es cierto, me acordé. Ahora dígame qué hora es, Alvin. Um, ten zero three. It's ten o three or x three past ten. It's ten after. 
No, it's you, three you know. after ten. O sea, after tres ten. pasa a la diez. Decimos los minutos ah, que ya pasaron. Uh -huh. Es que yo tengo las diez y tres, sí. It's three after ten. <laughs> okay, I will send you some links to do some exercises, okay? Se pueden ver unos enlaces para que hagan unos ejercicios en línea y practiquen. You practice the time, okay? Please. Teacher, mm, yes? one question. Cuando se quiere decir que se hace la misma actividad dos veces al día, ¿cómo se expresa? Twice a day. Twice okay. a day. Lo voy a escribir en el chat. Twice a day. A day. Okay. Twice a day, dos veces. Una vez, once. O una vez a la semana, once a week. Ok, very good. ¿Y cómo van con la plataforma? Think twice. Yo intenté entrar a la plataforma como a las siete y media, después a las ocho para avanzar y no me permitía. Sí, fíjense que hoy hubo un problema en la plataforma, pero creo que ya se puede. Temprano, como a esas horas hubo, hubo, creo que estaban trabajando en ella y por eso no se podía ingresar. Pero sí, que... yo no pude ingresar y según yo era mi compu, entonces. Justo cuando iba a terminar la plataforma. Sí, pero ya, ya la arreglaron. Uh, esta semana... No, pues nos vamos a depelar. La sesión 5. <ríe> Y el examen final. Esta ya es la última, la última semana. El jueves van a revisar a la, a la, en la mañana. Van a tomar nota de, de todo. ¿Fernando? Ah, solo quería preguntar si hay otro módulo porque ya lo terminé. Si ya terminó todas las secciones, ah, ya, ya terminó usted. Ya solo le queda conectarse a la clase y hacer mis tareas que yo les dejo aparte. Y okay. hay que a esperar el módulo 2. No sé si ya mandaron todos los documentos para poder inscribirse al siguiente día. ¿Silvia? Eh, teacher, fíjese que he tenido problemas con la B, que ya para finalizar, que le he hecho 12 veces y siempre me han salido malas todas. ¿Qué ejercicio es? Ya la, es, la, es el penúltimo examen que, que nos sale, que es el B. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, ese ya lo hice 12 veces y siempre me sale, me sale mal. Ok. Vamos a revisar. Cuando tengan problemas, ustedes pueden escribir así, pedir ayuda a la persona encargada de su grupo, creo que es Mauricio Jiménez, si no me equivoco. El Andy, teacher Andy. Andy. Ah, perdón. Sí, ya le sí, he escribido veces y no, no me, no me contesta. Vaya, está bien. Si no, eh, ya les voy a ir. Voy a ver, voy a verificar yo si ahorita me está, está costando un poco. Otra cosa, teacher, fíjense que cuando yo intentaba hacer este, algunos ejercicios en la, en, la, en la compu me salían malas y cuando las hacía en el, en el celular me salían correctas. Eso es verdad lo que dice Fernando. A mí me sucedió también. A él igual le pedí ayuda eh, y unas que yo las había puesto, así como él me las había mandado, a mí me habían salido malas y luego las volví a, a escribir y me salían buenas. Uh -huh. Sí. Ha de ser que ha de, ha de haber algún problema de mantenimiento. Quizás de, al, algo en la plataforma. Pero bueno, si lo lograron solucionar, qué bien. Bueno. No, solo ese me faltó, teacher, el, el B. Que ese sí, right. ya lo hice 12 veces y nada. Ok, ahorita no está costando... Ah, aquí está. Eh, five, right? Section five. Lo voy a bus buscar ahorita y se los mando al grupo de WhatsApp because it's time to finish, okay? But have a good day. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.